In Star Citizen, uh, you have a fairly high top speed in space. You can zoom away pretty quick. And now, for a lot of things, this feels pretty good, like just getting around the verse and doing stuff. But in combat, in space specifically, because atmospheric combat's kind of a different animal altogether. But in space, it kind of causes a problem. And I know all you pirates and you PvPers out there, bounty hunters or whatever, are going to realize this. Like... It makes it so that somebody can just hit top speed, zoom away real fast, and then quantum out, and there's no real counterplay to that maneuver. So as soon as somebody starts losing a fight, whether it's your bounty target or whoever, they can just get away, and then their shields will be back up next time you get to them. And you'll have to do all that work again for them just to zoom away right when their shields go down. Or, like this has happened to me a couple times, somebody will be terrorizing Port Olisar. I'll go there to try and help out. Maybe it's me and a couple other guys. And as soon as that guy starts, his shields go down, he takes a little bit of ship damage, zooms away, jumps, goes back to Grim Hex, fixes his ship, and he's back terrorizing Port Olisar again. And the main reason this is a problem is there's just no real counterplay to this. Like, there's nothing in the game that gives you... Like, I think the defender should always have an advantage. The person trying to get away should always have somewhat of an advantage, but right now they just have all advantages and there's no, like there's nothing that you can do if somebody decides to do that unless they uh, make a bad decision. If they play smart, you're not, you don't really have a chance. So I wanna just kinda propose a couple ideas on how to fix this. Now, you could just kinda copy and paste what Elite Dangerous has done because they have, they have systems in for this, like their top speed's a lot slower and you have to, if you want to get to a lot quicker top speed, you have to charge up your jump drive and you have to enter super cruise, and that's where you can kind of cruise around at faster speeds. Now, and the counterplay to that in Elite Dangerous is there's certain missiles that you can engineer or you can go through, uh, I forget what it's called, but basically there's special things that you can get that can stop somebody from spooling their jump drive, or you can also have like rail guns and you can shoot out their jump drive as well. So there's different counterplays. There's also mass locking the bigger ship that you're in, the uh, uh, like the more ma the longer it takes them to spool up their jump drive if they're in a smaller ship. Stuff like that. But I honestly kind of like the faster speed in Star Citizen. So uh, there are some other issues with it like uh, the server's not being able to keep, keep up, but hopefully that's fixed in the future and it's not going to be a problem. But anyway, I just think there needs to be a counterplay to somebody zooming off and quantum jumping. So I think missiles are already in the game and it could be a great counterplay. The hard thing with that is you have to balance like, hey, this is a bounty hunter target and we want to stop them getting away with missiles and potentially like a traitor or somebody who should have a defender's advantage. And so you don't want to make the missiles too powerful, but I think there's a good balance that you could strike there with missiles, and maybe it's a specialty missile that you have to get through bounty hunting or something that uh, maybe it does less damage, but it has really far range for its size, and you can it locks on the faster they're going, the faster it locks on. Stuff like, interesting stuff like that to where if somebody's trying to jump away because they are damaged, these missiles will do a good job at finishing them off, where if somebody's a traitor and they got full shields and like full hull, it's not going to do that much damage to them, potentially. Or it's not going to be an effective way to stop a traitor. So I think that being said, like the missiles not being super effective against traitors that have full shields and full hull, like it could still be an option if you're trying to blow them up. But I think in the future what you're going to want to do with traitors is disable them. So I think something more along the lines of a missile that slows down the quantum drive spooling or maybe shuts it off for a certain amount of time kind of similar to Elite Dangerous something like that and maybe you can earn these missiles through getting reputation with pirates or something along those lines to get access to it and it would uh, be a more skill based system especially like they could do stuff like have it as a dumb fire missile change the speed of it and dif different things like that to get just balance it out so the trader has a real fighting chance to get away. So I think that would be pretty cool, kind of add a little bit more strategic value and skill into these things rather than just 
throttling all the way up and spinning so it's hitting different parts of your shields if you're in a big ship or whatever until your quantum drive works or pirates being forced to only get people in atmosphere because they can't jump right away but anyway I think uh, Star Citizen is in a pretty good place to balance this out and I think they could easily do that with a couple tweaks so I'm interested in what they're gonna do if you have any more ideas on how to uh, uh, kinda put in some counterplay to these the speed strategy and just quantuming off real quick let me know down in the comments below thank you for uh, watching the video